When you hear the word lipids, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Probably fats. Well, lipids are more than just fats. There are waxes, oils, phospholipids, and steroids. All are considered lipids. And yes, those kind of steroids. So they make people buff, but are considered a lipid. So there are much to know about lipids. Let's get to know them better, shall we? Lipids are organic compounds, insoluble in water, but soluble in organic solvents. In other words, hydrophobic or non-polar molecules. They are heterogeneous compounds made of long hydrocarbon chains. The basic structural unit of lipids is a triglyceride. A triglyceride is made of three fatty acids and a glycerol molecule. Lipids can be classified based on their chemical structure to symbol, compound, or derived lipids. Okay, let's start with simple lipids. Simple lipids are made of fatty acid and alcohol only. Examples include fats, oils, and waxes. Next, we have compound lipids. They are made of a simple lipid and a non-lipid molecule. Adding phosphate groups make phospholipids. Adding carbohydrates make glycolipids. Adding sulfur makes sulfolipids and proteins for lipoproteins. Derived lipids are made by hydrolysis of simple or compound lipids like steroids and isoprenoid. Let's talk about fatty acids. Fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated. In saturated fatty acid, the long hydrocarbon chain is fully saturated with hydrogen atoms while unsaturated fatty acids have one or more double bonds in their structure. At room temperature, saturated fatty acids are solid, while unsaturated fatty acids are liquid. An important type of fatty acids is essential fatty acids. The word essential means that the body cannot make them and must be taken in diet. They are poly unsaturated fatty acids. They are important for our health, mentally and physically, improve our body composition and treat certain diseases. First we have linoleic acid, which is an omega-6 fatty acid found mainly in vegetable oils, also in nuts, meat and eggs. Next we have alpha linolenic acid, which is an omega-3 fatty acid found mainly in seeds such as shea and flax, fish and other seafoods. Okay, to understand the importance of lipids, let's put them in four groups and take one at a time. First we have energy, DBO, membrane lipids, and signaling. Starting with energy, lipids give the highest energy value, which is a 9 kilocalorie per gram in comparison with proteins and carbohydrates, which give only 4 kilocalorie per gram. Essential fatty acids, as we said, must be taken in diet. Also, fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin A, D, E, and K, must be solubilized in fat before they are absorbed. Next, we have DBO, which is storage. Lipids play an important role in storing energy. Lipids are stored primarily in many forms, such as triglycerides, fat cells, cell membranes, and lipoproteins. So, they give us insulation from cold, they support vital organs, like the heart, kidney, and liver. Also, they protect against trauma. You know, like in the movies, how huge guys are always okay, even after taking a big hit. That's the work of lipids. Lipids are also important for cell composition and function. Phospholipid providing permeability for molecules and ions. Cholesterol maintain integrity and stability. Glycolipids maintain cell stability and help in cellular recognition. We have also myelin sheath, which speeds up the nerve electrical signals. It's composed of 80% lipid. Lastly, we have signaling. Lipid signaling involves any process in which the messenger is a lipid. Prostaglandins are a group of lipids. They are involved in dealing with injury and illness. Leukotrienes play a role in inflammation and allergy reaction. Lipid-derived hormones, like sex hormones, 
and other steroidal hormones like aldosterone and cortisol. Lipids play an important role as mediators in signaling, like sphingosine, ceramide, and sphingosine 1 phosphate. We hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.